Hey guys, Necros from the Ornithal here again. I will be doing a video for the Will Tree. It's also known as Resistance, or in the English version, as the Oramency Tree. Um, the names of these abilities and the damage values and percentages and all that may be changed for our version, so don't look at it as an exact representation of what we're going to get. So, first ability in Will is called Spirit of Excellence. It does a small AoE around you, 6 meters, that will reduce the movement speed, attack speed, damage of the enemies, and their healing they receive for a small value of 3 seconds. But, the main thing it does is it gives you a, um, a charge. So, pay attention to her debuff and my buffs. As you can see, she just got a debuff that weakens her, slows her movement, and I got a charge of Spirit that actually increases my attack speed by 8% per charge. You can get more charges, you can build them up if you have the a passive, which I'm going to go over in a bit. But the main thing about these charges is they, they work in combination with some other abilities. Two of them in the Will Tree. That brings me to the second ability, Solar Bridge. It does damage in a straight line and makes you sprint faster. As you see, can see on the bottom, if you have a Charge Spirit, it does some extra damage. So I hit her, it did some extra damage with the combo, and now I can sprint go pretty fast in that and it works on your allies as well so you can help make them move faster and catch up to enemies or escape or whatever it's a good ability um, so third ability is energy shield it's great for PvP it reduces the amount of damage you take from spell damage so uh, she's gonna throw a spell at me right now and I'm gonna pop this now I get healed for a large percentage 42% to be exact yes 42% of the spell damage she throws at me now, as you can see, the second one's going to hit harder, and I'm not going to heal. That was a crit, too. I'm not going to heal for nearly as much. The small heals you do see me receiving are from another ability, a passive. I will, uh, I will show you. Um, so, fourth ability is Vacuum Explosion. It pulls enemies in within a 10-meter range. It'll pull them all in. This, is, this works great in tandem with some other uh, abilities in the game. Pull them into uh, small range AoEs and such. And helps set up a lot of kills. So vacuum explosion, you'll see, it'll pull an enemy in and do some damage. That also works with a charge spirit from the first ability. Now if I use the spirit of excellence, you see the charge spirit I got. This is now glowing, so you know it's a uh, combo ability. Now if I do it again, you'll see it'll say combo. See combo. Now fifth ability is like a a blink from mages of WoW. If anyone played it. Um, so teleportation lets you move 15 meters forward. It's great for initiation and for escapes, and to get in range of your uh, teammates if you need to heal them desperately. See, I'll blink forward 15 meters. Pretty simple with that, but I'll go over it again in a bit because the passive does affect it. The sixth ability we got is a buff, vitality buff. Um, it increases your max health of you, and you could also cast it on allies at the same time. Lasts for a half hour. That'll increase my max health, that buff, by 748. Um, the next ability we have is Meditation. Meditation will allow you to regen a large amount of mana, 4% of mana per second for 9 seconds. Let me try to burn some uh, mana off a little bit. Throwing some abilities out, which is going to be kind of hard to do. Watch my mana. You'll get the... Uh, Boom, boom, boom. As you can see, the mana comes back very, very quickly. It'll uh, give you 36% of your mana back over 9 seconds, and that, of course, is your your normal uh, regen is also uh, going on at that moment as well, so over 9 seconds you'll wind up with a lot more than just the what meditation gives you. Next ability we have is Iron Will. It um, gives you immunities to stuns and spears, Spear effects, which is pretty much just another stun through a different ability. Um, she's going to throw a stun at me right now, but I'm going to pop Iron Will, and it's going to make me immune to it. So I'm going to pop Iron Will right now, and a stun is going to be thrown at me, and now I'm completely immune to it. It didn't actually do anything. Iron Will can also be popped during a stun. So if you're already stunned, you can use it to get out quicker, and it'll still give you the 7-second um, the immunity afterwards. Now this recently got buffed, it was 4 seconds, and it may come into the English version as 4 seconds. So, we don't know. The next ability is Indomitable, which is a 20 second immunity to silence and disarm. If you pop that, it's a minute cooldown, but it lasts for 20 seconds. It's 
great in PvP. Um, as a healer, as a, pretty much anyone, you really don't want to get silenced because some of the silences can last pretty long. Next ability we got is a theft spell. It can put your enemy to sleep and it has a chance, a very high chance, to steal one of their positive effects, one of their buffs. Um, I'm gonna go use a... Um, it also works in tandem with a slow. Um, you can take an additional positive effect from an enemy if they're slowed. Fortunately, I don't have any slows in this tree, so I can't show you that, but... Theft spell. Target is in a range. Get the heck over here. Put her to sleep, and I stole one of her buffs. Blessing a deity. It's uh, a buff from, the, um, from a tree she's got, which I'll go over later. Um, intellect and willpower increase for 30 minutes. So she no longer has that, but there's other buffs... She can obviously just recast that on herself, but now I have it. There's other buffs that, you know, has got a, uh, a cooldown or it's a heal that she can't throw right up right away that you'll steal from her, and now she can't heal from the hot, and it's healing you. So, it's a, uh, it's a good ability, and it provides some crowd control for PvP. You go 2v1, you can put one to sleep, and then deal with the other one. So, it's good. Last ability I got is amazing for team fights. Um, Wings of Protection. For a large duration, 15 seconds... You protect all allies against any negative spell effects within 5 meters. So you tell your team, hey, stack up, here we go, wings of protection, boom. You throw it up. Now anything she throws at me, invincible. Can't do anything. Physical uh, enemies would have to uh, jump in there and try to uh, stun you to stop the effect. That's the only thing they can do. But uh, spellcasters can't do anything to uh, stop you. And that, of course, also affects your allies. And, um... Yeah, teamwork is very important in Arcade, so that's something you got to keep in mind. That ability is great. Now, on to the passives of Will. Uh, whenever I take damage, I heal for 7% of it. Uh, it's pretty good if you're tanky. It's not bad, but if you're weak, it, it if you're squishy anyway, it's not going to save you. Second ability is the... Um, this is actually labeled wrong in this version from the translation. It's not really the duration. It's um, It lets you double the amount of charges you can obtain. As you can see, I got one charge up there right now. Wait for it. Wait for this cooldown. Now I'm going to use Spirit Excellence again. And you can actually stay away from the enemies and, and use it and still be able to obtain a charge. As you can see, I have two charges now. It's hard to see, but it's there. Two charges. That passive lets you gain, lets you gain a uh, two additional charges. You're only allowed to have one innately, but y you can get three charges, and you can build this up before battles begin. As you're running to a battle, you can hop off your mount, pop it on, get back on your mount, and build this up. Now, you have three three charges. 52% of extra damage per charge. So now when I use it, it's a lot more damage, see? So you can use that in tandem with um, some other abilities and other trees to reduce the duration of uh, some cooldowns and if you uh, use it to your advantage, it could be it could be a difference between life and death. But pain suppression. I don't know if I'll be able to get this to proc, but it actually reduces all damage by three percent, and there's a chance that um, you become completely immune to all damage for three seconds. Is a one percent chance. I feel that it's a little higher than one percent. There might be a one point five percent, but they just don't tell you decimals. Um, when it procs, you are immune to damage for three seconds. It is it to every damage to uh, crowd control and everything. So it's it's pretty nasty. Um, doesn't look like it'll prop, but uh, anyway, on to the next passive. Uh, increases the accuracy of melee attacks and your critical strike chance with spells. That's that's good for a nice combo build if uh, like a, a melee spellcaster becomes viable. You can um, use that. Uh, the last... I don't actually need to be in a duel for this one. So the last pass I'm going to show you is a 50% chance when you use teleportation. That's the blink ability for it to instantly recover. This ability can get... This passive can get pretty damn OP. Um, you'll see people walking very slowly with trade packages and you're, you think you're going to get him and all of a sudden he's like... Boom, boom. And that can proc many, many times. That was only two right there. But uh, I've seen it proc like five times for someone. He just goes boom, 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 boom across the damn world. And, um... Yeah, that's it for the oil tree. Um, if anyone's looking for a guild for US Arcage, check us out. I'll put a link in the description and in an annotation. We are the Ormond Thule. We are a uh, hardcore Arcage guild that accepts 
even casual players. We still love you. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, check out the other uh, class tree videos that I'm going to be posting. Or I'll already posted if you're watching this later. Thanks for watching, and as always, uh, I love you.